like Coach DR is say, don't forget where you come from. I know each and every time he goes out on the field, he thinks about that. Nobody wanted me. Nobody offered me except Michigan State. And he has something to prove each and every time he goes out on the field. Pass intercepted by Doug Hurston. Nebraska game from last year is a crazy game for us. He's going to score! Touchdown, Michigan State! Went up two scores, I think. Flag down! Personal foul. Number five on the return team. Half the distance to the goal. Just getting called back from a legal block. Uh, it was a legal block. Johnny Adams did call me today, telling me his bad, his fault. He apologized all the time. On the last drive, I remember it like it was yesterday. It is incomplete. Flag down on Denard. Got the PI call. Thought I had great defense. I couldn't do it any other way. I thought it was textbook. PI that they called on him. That's how he's been coached. And I think any anybody will tell you that that was a good play. No disrespect to the refs. They're human beings. They're gonna make mistakes just like all of us. But it was it was great coverage. He did a great job on that. Corner of the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Nebraska! We lost, you know, five games by a total of 13 points. Didn't close them out. I think you measure yourself by how you handle adversity. I think you measure yourself in, in the storms of life. It's very important that when we go to Lincoln, that we bring our direction and our focus, and that we don't get bigger than ourselves, we learn how to handle success. I want to get them back. I want to have this win. This is my last time playing them. I do owe them a pit six, I do know that. This is for the Big Ten Championship. State and Illinois meeting today. Well, the first key is start fast. Ohio State's had eight opening drive scores in nine games. That's been their formula. Don't stray away from today. Miller again in the shotgun. Him to hide it. He's throwing. No, Miller keeps it straight ahead. 40, 45, 50, and he's going to take it to the house. Braxton Miller. And Ohio State starts fast again. The Illinois offense led by senior quarterback Nathan Shieldhouse, and he is all over the Illinois career stat list. If Ohio State has improved their pass defense, it will need to be improved against an Illinois team that will throw and throw and throw. Well, you can hear that nice hit up here in the booth. And Ryan Shazier will knock him down. Showed some of that 4-4 speed that Ryan Shazier has. Shieldhouse looking, throws left side. Intercepted and into the end zone goes Bradley Roby. And it's a 21-0 Ohio State lead. Braxton Miller keeps the ball. Dances by a defender to the 20, slips inside the 15 and goes down shy of the 10. I don't think I've ever seen a quarterback with those type of moves back there consistently do it for Ohio State. Running on the left angle is high. To the five and to the end zone goes Carlos Hyde. Went in there untouched. Illinois with the football, but behind by a bunch. Shieldhouse in a shotgun. Looks to throw, takes off running Shieldhouse. 45, 50 yard line to Ohio State's 40. Wide to the left, he'll go and forced out of bounds by safety CJ Barnett at Ohio State's 35. So Illinois is taking the third quarter kickoff and they've made some good things happen. Drops back to pass. Shieldhouse looking, throws, and it is caught inside the five receiver. Goes down at the two yard line. 
Chillhouse fakes the handoff, rolls to the right. Throws into the end zone, wide open catch for a touchdown. Evan Wilson. Illinois on a little 21-7 run. Yes, they are. All of a sudden, that defense didn't look as good as they did that first half. So Illinois' offense at their own 90-yard line. And he's hit by Ryan Shazier, football fumble. They're going to call a safety. Ryan Shazier, linebacker, blasted into the back of Riley O'Toole. So Ohio State now has a 37-21 lead. On second down, Shieldhouse with the football. He keeps it after a fake, straight up the middle, wide open, 30, 25, right side, 20. And he'll be taken down by safety, Corey Brown at the 10. Hands it to Ferguson, straight ahead, touchdown, Josh Ferguson. As he slipped by C.J. Barnett into the end zone, all of a sudden, Illinois has found themselves back, yeah. back into this game. Yeah, within two scores. Ohio State now, offensively, they're going to have to get things ironed out a little bit and see if they can come back and answer this. Give to Carlos Hyde, big old 45-40. Left side, 35-30. 20 yard line, 15-10-5 to the house. Touchdown run of 51 yards, Carlos Hyde. Now it's up to the defense. Shieldhouse back at the 15, looking to throw. No, he won't. Sack. Shieldhouse again in the shotgun. He'll retreat to his 16 to pass. Sack. Miller in a shotgun gets the snap. Hands it to Carlos Hyde, who sweeps it left side. 45, 200. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. He's going to do it again. People might think we were crazy when we were talking about how this was a tight game not too terribly long ago. Ohio State, they beat Illinois 60 to 35 this afternoon. How do you gauge just overall the performance of this defense? I mean, are you satisfied or unsatisfied with 35 points? Uh, I'm, I'm not satisfied because you don't want anybody to score any points on you. But 35 is way too much because uh, if our offense wasn't the offense that they are right now, we, we, this could have been a different situation. So uh, we gave up too many points today and we just to work on it and fix it this week.